everyone in this video i am going to explain digital storage oscilloscope and digital readout oscilloscope so digital storage oscilloscope is quite opposite to the analog storage oscilloscope in the previous video i have explained analog storage oscilloscope where the sinusoidal signal or any type of analog signal has been stored in mesh storage so we have used a mesh storage there in front of the pass per screen so when the writing gun writes the signal on the mesh storage the dielectric material which has already been coated on this mesh storage now it is positively charged because of this writing gun so during this positive charge what happens whenever we are switching on the flood guns the electrons will penetrate through that positive area and produces the same signal even after one or two days that is the purpose of analog storage oscilloscope which can uh, store the data and uh, display whenever it is required now we are going to see a digital storage oscilloscope which we need some memory to store the data in terms of ones and zeros because the data is a digital data we are saying that it is a digital storage oscilloscope so the data has been stored in the form of digits <coughs> like ones and zeros okay uh, but suppose we may have how we have given an analog suppose i have a sinusoidal signal or any type of analog signal how you are going to save it how you are going to store it we need to convert that analog data into digital data so meanwhile we should have used a con converter analog to digital converter and we have stored and again when you are retrieving the data from that memory location you should revert the information like uh, digital to analog conversion it is needed okay so now see the block diagram here for example we have taken four channels four channels this is first channel second channel third channel and fourth channel each channel can store information of 1024 bits of memory 1024 bits of memory and similarly here also it can store 1024 it can store 1024 it can store 1024 bits of memory so that means it's uh, suppose if you are taking two only two inputs rather than four only two inputs so each can be 2048 if you are using only one channel at a time and all three are, are off then all this 40 something 96 4096 data can be stored in in uh, can be sent through a single channel so depending on the number of uh, channels we have used the memory location memory data has been divided accordingly now whatever the data input data let it be a sinusoidal signal that input data is given to the attenuator and offset attenuator is to eliminate the noise and unwanted signal after passing through this amplifier and then the data will be converted into analog to digital converter so 2 power 10 2 power 10 2 power 10 is nothing but 1024 okay so 2 power 10 that's why it is 10 bit of data which will convert analog into digital data analog signal what we have given here that will be converted into a digital data okay so the uh, all these digital data again will be stored into a recorder what is a recorder here what is a recorder a recorder is nothing but whatever the data that is coming in the analog signal that is converted into bits in form of ones and zeros like this something data that data is being recorded that data has been recorded see here record and control what it will do it records the data whenever this time and more logic is switching on okay when this time and more logic switches on because of the presence of trigger circuit so whenever this trigger pulse generator has occurred produces a signal let it be negative signal or it may be a positive trigger signal when it gives to this timing and more logic its timing and more logic awakens the record control to record the data that has been converted into analog to digital hope you understand 
so trigger circuit is nothing but it is a circuit which awakens the other circuits which wakes up the other circuit here which circuit is going to wake up timing and more logic timing and more logic has been waken up because of this trigger circuit okay so whenever the triggering pulse is generated timing circuit will go and start the recording process which the based on the digital data applied here okay so as i said each data is having 1024 bits of memory so here the bit is to 10 bit of data which can store 2 power 10 data so 10 bit of data that will be converting the analog data into a digital data which is consisting of 10 digits okay now this data is being recorded and whenever it is required again the data will be is reverted back and displayed on the CRT screen as I said each channel is having 1024 word memory 1024 and this data is given to output control so output control is also controlled by this timing and more logic whenever it is required then output control gives the data so either you can get the data in the reverse order you can get the data either in 10 bit DAC or in 12 bit DAC so to, uh, here the analog data is converted into digital form the digital data is being recorded here whenever the trigger pulse is generated this digital data again taken back by this memory location and output control it will be control it will be controlling based on whenever the triggering pulse is generated the output data again sending to the corresponding analog or digital data digital analog digital to analog converter 10 bit or 12 bit the output of this one is given to CRO analog outputs are there again whatever the data we are giving suppose this is the analog data will be converted into digital data and again converted into analog data okay so analog to digital digital to analog okay this is the actual process behind this digital storage oscilloscope okay now coming to another oscilloscope that is digital readout oscilloscope this is the block diagram of digital readout oscilloscope very easy just it is used to read the data of the input signal okay like it has two displays one is the crt display as well as it is also using a counter display it uses a counter display okay see sampled signal we are giving whatever the signal let it be a sinusoidal signal we are uh, taking that sinusoidal signal has been sampled into number of time slots so a sampled version like this what is the difference between this input signal and the sample signal sample signal means we are having only parts of the information we don't have the entire complete information so we have only samples of the information again after reconstructing this we can get the original information okay now this uh, waveform is sampled and are given to see here where it is given see the output of this one is given to this crt display and as well as it goes to this start comparator and the same signal is also going to the stop comparator start comparator and stop comparator and the same signal sampled signal is also given to where it is connected clock gate it is connected to clock gate so clock gate is nothing but simply it is a gate which is used to allow send the digital data okay clock gate is used to send the digital data okay now here in this sampled version of the signal that has been displayed on the CRT it takes two points which is having the least voltage memory least amplitude that is taken as 0% voltage memory and which is having the maximum peak that is taken as 100% voltage memory circuit now these two outputs 0% voltage memory and 100% voltage memory these two circuits are connected through a potentiometer what is the purpose of potentiometer potentiometer one end is connected to start comparator and other end is connected to stop comparator that means initially when this comparator position needle position is at this point start comparator comparator compares the zero percent voltage and when it goes to this point it compares the hundred percent voltage 
so whenever these two are equal these two input voltages present here and here are equal start comparator produces a signal there the circuit clock gate takes one count there it counts one that means counter will produce one <coughs> similarly whenever the voltage across this input signal is equal to the voltage across this potentiometer for every time it produces one increment one increment one increment like that okay so this is what the digital readout oscilloscope digital readout oscilloscope is nothing but the input signal is going to be sampled and sample version is displayed in a CRT display and as well as the same signal is also connected to start comparator and stop comparator. These two other ends are connected to a potentiometer. Initially it is started the zero position. It's slowly incrementing and incrementing and goes to the maximum value. So start comparator is used to get the difference between this uh, uh, zero level and as well as the voltage across the potentiometer. So whenever these two are equal, simply it opens the clocking pulse is generated and whatever the required count is there that is going to be displayed in the counter. Okay. So it is having two displays, CRT display and as well as what is another display? Another display is nothing but counter display. Counter, what it will count? It counts the number of times that the clock gate is opened or simply it counts the number of times that the input signal strength is equal to the 0% or 100% voltage memory okay some theory is also given here go through that thank you